bringing in Gooshway and having him play Doomfist would be an interesting angle, considering that they just had Burn Arse up over onto that hero, and Burn Arse playing a considerable amount of Doomfist. Philadelphia Fusion, I'd be surprised to see Bellosaria stick to this Wrecking Ball, as Wrecking Ball does suffer from the lack of high ceilings in the, uh, in the server room, which means that engaging into one of the most potent areas for a support to hang out means you have very limited options to try and make your pile driver work. But hey, if anyone can make it work, Borlos Rhea can. <laughs> well, Fusion tried the rush last time they faced the Spark on this, and let's just say it didn't work out. It was 199, though. But what did work for the Spark is this very comp. They did have sh uh, Alpha Yi yep, on the Genji, Lucio, Ana, and everything. So quick rotations for the Spark. And there's an engager of Gushue on the coast side, the right, and has already punched out Aim God Cold. And MN3 booped off. So Spark around this Lucio on are just coalescing together and it's working out. And God got booped off as well, playing on the edge. They did not expect Gushue to be on the Doomfist. They probably thought the same as me, that he was going to be on the Rhyme. That's why they went up and around the outside. But here's the engagement from Gushue. The pace there, unbelievable. And guess what? M and <laughs> Gushue fell off as well. Okay, three environmental kills in our starting battle. How else could it end here in our APAC Battle Royale? Shy, already so low as Hongjo Spark have got themselves the first cap. Do they dare contest here? Yeah, that's kind of a big reason why you don't hold that coast side. You're so vulnerable to boops and goosh. Uh, or sorry, uh, Bellos Rhea got slept and anti. Good job by Irony once again. I felt like Bellos Rhea just lived a little too long on New Queen Street, so I'm glad he could get to know what dying is like a bit. But Alfie has already killed two, and he wants to dash fix this so bad without, you know, running into the shield bash and all that. He is going to harass Zest some more, get a bunch of blinks out of him, and now dance around. Because remember, it's Spark that have control of the points. So they can play this this ring around the Rosie, this cat and mouse forever, and benefit from it. And now, because of the Lucio Super Rich, reinforcements are back from the Spark. So they're almost at full force. And Alfie also heavily outpacing these defensive ultimates when it comes to the blade. He's been hitting so many shurikens that if he uses it in a good amount of pace, then it could easily confound the Philadelphia Fusion. Losing Gushue means that space is going to be hard to come by. And Alfie gets nano tier for a oh. big old. <gasps> He's dead. He's dead. Uh, wow. He just got one clipped and no one by Pelos <laughs> Surreal. That was disgusting. The guy was like ready to whip out his blade and everything. And he just got sat on. So Spark don't have any DPS. So it's a go next, and Bellos is just killing everything. Okay, okay, he has mines. <laughs> I wonder, uh, I don't know if you want to hold choke, but we'll see how the mines will be used. Was that a Bellos rear ace on the ball? Not only was that potentially a Bellos rear ace, but that also stopped the Nano Blade. And now the window for the blade's effectiveness is closing for Alpha Yi. Aim God's getting closer and closer to that trance, and Fixer is also going to have the rally, which will give enough space during the knockback to get the additional health. Oh, the sleep on the Zest of how he's alive, though. But the blade from Alfie comes out. He's got the sound barrier of Super Rich to supplement him. But he had such a hard time closing the gap with him and the fusion. At least he doesn't extend too much. He conserves his life. But the blade got a total of zero kills. So Spartan has Super Rich. Advantage is starting to go away. Gushue got so eager because he thought he had the meteor strike, but he was still 3% away. And the punish from fusion is so nasty. The disengage against Alfie. So smart. The Fusion are now back on the point, and they can chill for now. In the end, it was more Dragon Bait than Dragon Blade trying to get Zest to chase them in. Alpha Yi so low. Gushue finally has this Meteor Strike, and it can't be forced out early by a Pulse Bomb from Zest, so instead you can use it to make a much more aggressive dive and then try and finish off one of those low supports, potentially even force out a Transcendence from Aim God in a suboptimal position. Just Hongjo Spark just want the server control so bad so they can access this backline. Cool text from Gushue. You scared the heck out of Aim God. He just used Transcendence. Now Fusion really want to take a fight, and they uh, MN3 got isolated. So Spark forced the Transcendence and then jump immediately on MN3. It's a five on four. And Fusion, they have control of the point, so they can probably just die on it, get to 99, and head on out unless MN3 gets back soon. Pile drive from Bellos Rhea. Spark dodged Big the pulse bomb from Zest. And now Spark don't really have any ultimates. And they got to get away from these mines. It's 99% from the fusion. Fusion never even reset through losing Aim God, through losing MN3. And now that he's back, he can shoot away. And the Spark ain't looking too good without Gushue, without Shy. What could possibly pull out a win here? You got to use the rally. Super Rich used it immediately on acquiring it. Gushue will be back soon on the Hammond. 
and Fusion are just wasting so much time. You can get a pick on the Fusion and they'll just never give up. But at least they kill Super Rich and Irony! Zest makes the miracle happen! And Fusion take round one. And Zest did that against Overhealth as well, against the Rally. Zest got the two versus one against the supports. Unbelievable for Philadelphia Fusion. And think about this, they were coming from behind. They got knocked off instantly. Two environmental kills in the first fight. Control Lemon. It was all about getting that first fight, getting control, and playing from a defensive position. But Philadelphia Fusion, the grits they showed. Here's Alpha Yi being denied for Nano Blade. That would have been everything because Aim God and Fixer were nowhere near in a position to try and deal with that. This is Bello Sria's piece de resistance. This is his magnum opus of competitive Overwatch, and it's a round of control center. Disgusting. I mean, the last time Spark and Fusion went to control center, it was Spark that won it. Fusion had to change their strat, and Bello Sria, this speed is just so much to handle. And he gets out too, so you can't even kill him half the time. So now Spark, we go over to Gardens. Fusion won this 194, and of course that was when MN3 even brought the Sombra out. A little bit too much creativity sometimes. But now he's on the Ash. Point unlocked. Bellisria wants to prevent it, gets involved, tries to stop the cap, but no one else is there. No contest from Zez because he's dead. He got booped to death by Super Rich. So Spark at the first cap, and now they have the supports of Ape God and fix the trapped! What synergy from the Spark in the moments that matter the most? Faster, stronger, harder, better. That's what Hungjo Spark have demanded going into round number two of potentially their final map of the tournament. Raising the tempo, pushing on the gas. Philadelphia Fusion got absolutely struck out there. Even with Zest managing to get as much damage as he did, was the first one to die. And now Hongjo Spark, as Philadelphia Fusion make their way towards the point, they can choose where the battle happens with Gushui's initial dive. Hangzhou doing some scouting, so is Zest, knowing that most of the, most of everyone on the Spark are near the point. And Belshir was trying to separate them and got close to just getting the supports of Spark low. Shy has a pulse bomb too, Zest too, and a stick on Irony, he's gone! Five to four for the fusion as Belisaria continues to be ca utter chaos on the point. As Spark can't even take shelter on the objective they own. Belisaria is separating them and the fusion capitalized. Even Fixa with the 2K, Zest with the other. And it's the flip back over to fusion with 67 to Spark. An unbelievably large fight there from Zest. A couple of blinks to find irony and deny that nano. Now it is going to be available. Would you put it onto Alpha Yi again? Would you risk the conflux of Bellos Rear and Zest bullying him out with that Discord orb? Once again, Zest is just being such a pain in the bottom, and it's a turnaround from Hongjo Spark trying to ambush him on the disengage. Oh, yeah, I thought Gushway was going to get the nano, but it's to Alpha Yi. We'll see if the second time's a charm. He's close to nano, and they drew out the transcendence, so this Alpha Yi blade could be big, but maybe he wants to wait out the Fixa rally, especially now that it's accumulated to this point. The mines also from uh, Belisria flash out spark from Dojo, but it doesn't really matter because they own the entirety of the rest of the map. So the fusion are wiped away, and we get a flip back over to the spark, 43 for fusion. This does, however, mean that Super Rich has used that sound barrier much more aggressively than maybe they anticipated. And that means there's nothing to stop MN3 from tearing through all of these more squishy members when that overclock's available. And we've already seen what Zest can achieve with these pulse bombs. His stick rate this series has been impressive, and Irony's been feeling the brunt of it. But Alpha Yi with the blade in the sheath, dare he drag it out and call upon the dragon to once more bring Hongjo Spark to a stage number three on control. Oh, the pulse! Again! The stick, mid jump! Zest does it again! His attach rate is crazy! As Fusion start off on a good foot this fight, Bellosuri hopes to separate the spark, but it's Yi who brings out the blade, slices through the supports, and the spark at 99% have won the fight in round two. They'll force the third one. Two to two, Lemon. One, two, one. Neither team wants to die at this juncture. Both want to be the representative of the East, the champion of APAC, the one who would wear the crown going into our third portion of the season. 
So many teams are arrayed before them. It is a harsh path, and it's one that will tear them limb from limb. But both of these warriors, they are bloodied. They are ready to take their first step upon it. However, it all starts with a single step here on Night Market of Lee Zhang Tower. And Night Market was the last round that the Spark and Fusion faced off to define that first map when the first time they met. Will the script be rewritten as Spark took that map the last time and took Night Market as well behind Gu Shui's dive? And it was Shy actually on the Sojourn last time, switching things up, going for the GT Genji Tracer dive to see if they can work together for the final time in their last life this tournament. Fusion on the point, working on the cap first. Alpha Yi juking things out, jumps over the wall, sees the supports, gets some good right clicks in as the Shy is behind. And surely they can finish off Ape God. They do, but they lose irony in the process because the flank of the fusion was on the Spark's tail equally. Spark don't have any supports, neither do fusion. All damage is permanent, and there's three on two for fusion, and they already have the point. So Spark are the ones that have to reset. We call those backline races, Lemon, where you just race to try and kill the opponent supports. And well, Philadelphia Fusion said ka -chow, baby. Philadelphia Fusion now have Zest with another Pulse Bomb. And well, we know what that means for Irony. Luckily, this time it's survival as Irony clings to life with his little grippers. And now Philadelphia Fusion are going to have to retreat back to a point and wait for Hangzhou Spark to come to them, potentially. Oh, I meant three's already dead. Shy can throw a Pulse, sees a bunch of supports. I mean, it's just a blur at this point. That's all Fix is seeing too, is dark. As Hangzhou Spark, hope to just flip this point back over. There's still the DPS and Bellos Rhea hanging around, but they don't have much to say after that. So Spark gets to farm them up a little bit and flip it over, 58 for Fusion. And critically, Hongjo Spark are now going to be in a defensive position once more, almost with access to that Nano Blade. They've enjoyed giving a Nano over to Alpha Yi when he doesn't have a blade in hand to see if they can force any defensive countermeasures out of Philadelphia Fusion. The problem with that currently is that Philadelphia Fusion don't have the defensive countermeasures. If Hongjo Spark get too aggressive here, though, Bellos Rear can roll in behind them, put the minefield on the point, and try and exploit Hongjo Spark's disengage. See, Bellos Rhea wants. Spark to play on the point to drop these mines. He's already found Super Ridge, but, or he's found Irony, but Super Ridge boops him. And now Spark head for the middle of the map. They've already nanoed Gushue. Bellos Rhea focuses on the flip and is not even successful at doing that. But Shy, I guess, accidentally runs into the mines as he returns to the point to contest. Now Alpha Yi on the hunt, slices through Zest. Bellos Rhea is pretty low, but I, Alpha Yi is not feeling it. Would rather stay safe on the objective and Spark hold on for now. Aim God. He needs an Iron Will when it comes to this Transcendence. If he uses it too early, if Gushue can force it out with a Primal Rage, then Alpha Yi will have himself a clear landing strip to bring Hungjo Spark to the next match later today against the Atlanta Reign. Bellos Rear plays distraction, but this simply means that Alpha Yi has a clear path to victory. Who will be the last remaining team in APAC? Spark have the ult. The sound bear starts, but they couldn't get Shy involved. So Aim God and friends behind the Transcendence have the five on four. They rotate back to point. The rally starts from Fixa. Fusion trying to revitalize a bit as the flank from Zess has been unsuccessful. The bob from MN3 is thrown in the market side. So near the middle of the map. And now people are getting pooped off the map left and right. Fusion working to hold on to this objective to get the lead back. And Alpha Yen gets its butt shut down. Are you serious? But irony is gone. And so are the hopes of the spark this fight. As with the fight win here, Fusion will take back a lead. It was messy, but with a blade from behind, simply could not find the purchase. It was not sharp enough, nor with a Hangzhou Spark as a holistic group. Look at this irony once more. The only ult available for Nano. If he gets stuck here, it is over. Philadelphia Fusion will go and face Atlanta Rain later on, Lemon. This is the last battle. The Nano available from irony. Shy heading for mini pack. And it's the battle in the middle of the map. Gushue received the nano from Irony. Making the space, working with Alpha Yi. They head into the support line. M3 is separated from the flock. Couldn't get any healing from Aim God in time. Spark have the numbers, but Bellasria has the space. The mines! The double kill! Alpha Yi and Gushue removed. Irony.
Rarity gone! Fusion at 99% off of a tank who's grown from a cat!